Big Blue Button is a video conferencing tool built into every single Canvas course. To start one, we just click on the link that says Big Blue Button. Then we hit Add Conference. And from here, we have a few settings to change. First thing, under the name, the default name of the course always appear. I would suggest changing that to the perhaps the names of the people that are going to be in this particular group. And the default time is 60 minutes. If you know your meeting is going to be less than that, just keep it there. If you think it might go longer, then come down here and hit no time limit. And then you can keep these unchecked. Also, there's a check mark that says enable recording of this conference. Keep that checked as well. It's optional, but you could write a description if you want for your team. We will be debriefing the case study. And then under it, attendees, always make sure you click that because the default is to invite all course members. If you don't take this off, everybody in the class is going to be invited to your meeting. So we don't want that. So we're going to check that. And now under course members, it'll show us all the people in our team. We can select all the different people we want one at a time and they will appear there. These checks you can keep there. And all set, we can hit create. Now under new conferences, you and everyone else that you invited to the meeting will have this link right here. You can create this right before the meeting or several weeks before the meeting. doesn't really matter. It won't start until one member of the team hits start. Each person will walk through a few quick setup items asking how they want to join the meeting. No one's going to want to listen only. Everyone needs to participate, they'll, so they'll all click microphone. From here, go ahead and enable your webcam down here with this little icon that says share webcam. There'll be a few settings you have to allow. And when all set, hit start sharing. Your video and everyone else's will appear up here. You don't want this great big wasted space, which is basically an advertisement for Big Blue Button. So go up to those little three dots, click those and hit minimize. Now yours and all the other webcams will be dividing this space equally. Over here, you'll see this column that says public chat. You might use this for a couple things. For instance, maybe you're sharing email addresses or phone numbers if you want to create a group chat, or maybe you're sharing some websites. So you can type that in and that'll appear up here. Also, if you've already started the meeting and you need to invite someone else to come, you could always click this invite a guest to this meeting, creating a link that you can send to that member. If you're not using this public chat column, then get rid of it by just clicking public chat. It makes your window a little bit larger. If you need that public chat back, just go back up here and click public chat. When all the members of the team are in the meeting and you're ready to get started, you can click start recording. This will turn red and you'll get a little countdown indicating that it's happening. As each member of the team joins, you will see their names appearing over here on the left. As your other team members join the meeting, their webcams will be divided into this space as well. So say we're in the meeting and I want to do a screen share. All I do is come down to this icon that says share your screen. I click that and it asks me if I want to share my entire screen, just a window or a Chrome tab. I usually hit entire screen. So I click that and I hit share. Now everything on my screen, everyone on my team can see. So I might open a new window here and go to a favorite site like Green Bay Packer football and everyone can see that or whatever other project we're working on at the time. When I want to finish my screen share, I can just go back to my big blue button window and hit that same icon. Only now it says stop sharing your screen. If you're a Mac user and get an error message when you try to share your screen for the first time, Go to your system preferences, click on security and privacy. And from here, make sure this is unlocked. If it's locked, just click it and enter a password. And then scroll through this list here till you find screen recording. And this will show you everything that's enabled to be recorded. If there's no check by Google Chrome, if that's what you're using to uh, do your big blue button, put a check mark there and then just lock that back up and it should work the next time you try to screen share. Now, other people on the team can also share their screen, but only if I enable that. Because I started the meeting, I'm considered the host. So if I go over to all the list of people here and I click on their status, it'll say that they are not in control of the meeting. But if I hit make presenter, 
to this person, now this person can take control in the same way. In the event someone in the meeting has a strong video quality, but we can't quite hear them, it's really breaking up, the best thing to do is just ask them to leave the meeting and then just come right back in. Often, whatever the problem was just sort of goes away. But if it's persistent, one option is that they could keep their video on, but they could call in using their phone. To find that number, we just go back to public chat, and you'll notice that there is a phone number here where people could dial into the meeting as a last resort. When we're all finished with the meeting, we can hit stop recording, and then we can just head up to those three little dots in the upper right-hand corner and hit leave meeting. If we're all leaving the meeting at the same time because it's over, we could hit end meeting. If just one person, they can hit leave meeting. We're finished with this meeting, so we're just going to hit end meeting. When the meeting's over, it'll probably appear under concluded conferences if we truly ended it. If not, we can go to big blue button and click end. And that meeting will now jump from under new conferences to concluded conferences. If there was a recording attached to it, it would take a little while to render, sometimes uh, 15 minutes, sometimes several hours. But either way, when we would hover over this, you could see that it is a link that can be clicked on to view the video. Recorded videos remain in Canvas for one week. The beauty of Big Blue Button is after you finish recording a meeting, there's nothing else you need to do. You don't need to grab that link and send it to a professor or another student in the class. All those concluded meetings will appear all by themselves right under here.